Well, ladies and gentlemen, as the old saying goes, unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. And today, as I'm scooting around on the Navi, it's becoming increasingly clear that we are reaching the end of something good, and that would be riding season. We're officially in November, and if you can't tell from all of the leaves starting to fall off the trees, the fact that I sound stuffed up because I just got over my first fall slash winter cold, the thicker jacket, the thicker socks, the whole nine yards, we're reaching the season where riding days are fewer and far between. Is that how that saying goes? I don't know. And realizing that made me realize how much I need to get on ride before I can't anymore. So today that's exactly what we're doing. And we're on the Navi right now. I don't know if we're actually gonna be riding the Navi. I'm actually gonna let Siri make that decision. It's just too much pressure trying to decide which of the five bikes I'm gonna ride. So we're gonna find our way out of the woods, wherever the hell we are right now, make our way to the storage unit where all the other bikes are and ask Siri which bike we're gonna ride. And we're just gonna get out for an old fashioned moto vlog, have some fun and see what we can get into before we can't anymore. All right, let's get the heck out of here and go leave our life up to fate, aka Siri, and see which bike she picks for us to ride. Oh, big and bumpy. But I gotta say, I came up with the idea of having Siri pick which bike we're gonna ride before I brought the Navi back here, and uh, I'm really digging the off-roading through fall, although I gotta be honest, these leaves, oh my gosh, are so slippery. And now, you know, I already committed to letting Siri decide what we're gonna ride, but I really want her to pick the Navi or the XR now so we can go and find some new trails. But anywho, let's get over to the storage unit and see what bike we're picking. And we are here. Good grief though. Once I got out on the main road and doing like 40, 45 miles per hour, I did not realize how bad the wind chill was. It's like actually pretty cold today. Wind chill of 56. There's no way I'm buying that, that the wind chill is only 56. It's just not freaking possible. It felt like damn near 45 when I was out there. Okay, so anyway, here's how we're going to do it. Since I'm not sure which bike I want to ride, we're going to let Siri decide. So we're going to number the bikes one, two, three, four, and we're gonna ask Siri which one we should ride, have her pick a number one through four, and whichever one we pick is the one that we'll take. Siri, pick a number one through four. Oh, nice, okay, two. So I said one, two, right? So two, XR, hell yeah, dude, and that was first try too. I can't lie, I was considering faking it if it picked something that I didn't want so that I could take the XR or the Navi, but I don't even have to. That works out perfect. Stupid-ass carbureted bike's gonna find the perfect position for the choke to be and the right amount of throttle and meh. Sheesh, storage unit looking dusty as hell. What's going on here, bro? And then I... Okay. Seven hours later. Choke is all the way off. It's idling fine, but as soon as you touch it, it fucking dies. Choke is halfway, you touch the throttle, it dies. Choke is all the way up, it doesn't want to start. Let's turn it off. Alright, it's doing something, let's ride away before it decides to be a f***ing idiot again. Like, is it just me or does anybody else find themselves just not wanting to deal with f***ing carburetor? And it just died. dude. Okay, I thought you're not supposed to ride away with the choke on at all, but it's like it needs me to. And then it just died again. What the f***? <sighs> and you guys wonder why I'm always saying that I f***ing hate carbureted shit 
It's such an archaic technology. I can ignore my Grom for months. Literally no battery tender, not even look in its direction for seven months, and then hit the starter button and it fires up, rides perfectly right away. If I don't ride this or the Navi for like a week, it's a in fight to start it up. No wonder it has less than 350 miles on it even though I bought it earlier this year. What the f Anyways, enough negativity. I went to Rise Up for the first time in forever and it was delicious. And you guys are always asking me why I never go there anymore. Do they suck now? Like you used to go there all the time? And the simple answer is no. I'm just broke now. So I make coffee at home. There it is. There's the truth, ladies and gentlemen. I'm broke. I spend all my money on motorcycles and motorcycle parts so that I can make cool videos and I don't have money left over for anything that I enjoy other than motorcycles, which actually isn't as bad as it sounds. It's actually pretty f***ing cool that I can buy all these bikes. But in turn, sacrifices are made and I don't buy coffee out anymore because it costs f in five or six dollars for a cup of coffee and I'd rather just make my little Keurig at home so I can save money. Oh yeah, last night I needed to get firewood so I came and I stopped at this truck. I love it. It's like I live in the suburbs but that makes me feel so much more like country back to my roots, you know? They just have like a flatbed truck that they have like home chopped firewood on and it's ten dollars for a bundle of it and it's the honor system. You can either put money in the envelope or you can Venmo um, freaking love it but uh <laughs> it was that i don't know it ended up being way heavier than i thought it was going to be and the plan was to strap it to the navi and i still did it but it was way bigger of a bundle and way heavier than i was expecting but man i'll tell you what three bungee cords later and that navi was friggin hauling it like a truck man i stand by this is there anything that the navi can't do other than highway speeds and starting cold weather all right boys on our way to find some new trails slash adventure i just had to stop here to show you guys this and just tell you guys my genius plan so if any of you guys are millionaires and you got some money to spare let me know so this used to be a pawn shop and it got destroyed by this tornado that we had that came through it's actually crazy to see it in this state now that they've fixed everything up and redone the interior it used to be some like sh hole of a pawn shop but now it is back up for lease and i think maybe for sale also but hear me out okay there's this awesome building here with frontage to west street okay but the most important part which i never knew existed when it was a pawn shop back here they have all these garage bays look at this i thought it was just this storefront i didn't realize how far back it went so you have the first level here then a full second level and then whatever that is and then back there you have like three or four different garage bays if money was not an issue if if I had money, damn, she looks good glowing in the light. But if money was not an issue, wouldn't it be so sick to turn this into some sort of like motorcycle coffee shop thing? You come in here, you have some good coffee, some sandwiches, whatever, a hangout spot upstairs. But then also you can do either like daily, weekly, or monthly rentals of any of the garage spaces, whether it's like, you know, we keep one of them that you can just store your bike in over winter for $50 a month or something. Or like you can pay $400 a month and have like access to it for the type of stuff that I do like working on bikes filming stuff like that like how freaking dope would that be to just have this be like the mecca of motorcycling in Maryland dang that has a nice ring to it the mecca of motorcycling in Maryland like I can picture it now you know some dope hipster coffee shop space upstairs to like sit maybe like uh like one of those collective workspaces where you can like rent out a desk and like work from there and then like garage spaces back there dude would that not be the dopest freaking thing ever I got all the ideas but none of the money it only says lease I could have sworn I saw it for sale somewhere Let's see how much the lease is. Oh, sh**. Why are you just standing up? Do a wheelie. Do a flip! I'm not seeing a price anywhere. It just says negotiable. But see, there's all the garage spaces back there. Tell me that wouldn't be so dope. Anyway, let's get on our way. We're running out of daylight, which I don't think I mentioned, but that's like the worst part about the fact that riding season is coming to an end is that the day that you guys are watching this will be the day that the time has already changed, meaning that the sun will start setting at 5 o'clock or earlier, which is disgusting, dude. Give me back 9 p.m. sunsets, please. Imagine just ramping off of this thing dude <laughs> oh man that would be crazy the hell's going on there why would those windows even be broken that has to just be like vandalism for the fun of it you know there's no way that somebody broke those windows out expecting something of value to be in that thing do we think there's anything down here i feel like there's woods behind here but can you get to it i don't see any entrances over there i did see a squirrel hanging out but no entrance what Annapolis Police Department Parole Substation Hispanic Liaison Police Parking Only 
what the hell what's going on here i was gonna say this kind of looked like public housing or something but to the point that they need a police station here hispanic liaison yeah dude what's going on here is there public housing specifically for hispanic residents i didn't know that but like everything here is in spanish i feel like no is going on here boy mass confusion bruh whatever this place is everybody wants to be here damn let me get that garage dude oh i see some dirt bikes out there growing up this was always like a little pit bike track but now it's like leveled out some but they're building a giant garage dude that's what i need because of ice cream dude it is too cold for that but i was gonna say because of that pit bike track and the fact that we're getting a little closer to edgewater it makes me feel like this neighborhood probably has like at least a couple little trails somewhere right or maybe that logic is backwards and if they had trails they wouldn't have had to build those where am i what is this does that say yard sale there's just a random yard sale back here am i reading that correctly oh what gear am i in monday through thursday one to four. Oh, so it's probably closed now what is this and why am i having like weird deja vu that maybe i've been here before what the heck gardens chickens what a strange place to have chickens hello chickens oh whoa i thought i thought that was a baby chicken but it's it's fuzzy little feet got some gourds in there to eat some squash something like that how cool just stumble across a bunch of backyard chickens at a school or a church or something what the heck well you know what i know that there hasn't been a whole lot of action so far but we found chickens if that doesn't make up for it i don't know what does oh my gosh that house is beautiful let me get that bunch of woods but no trails yet but it feels promising how did i never know this existed look at that big ass house two big ass houses three four all the big ass houses what the heck it just keeps going further and further back oh my gosh they're all gigantic houses how did i never know that this existed i say as if i have enough money for a house back here and it's something that i would have known but listen we all go window shopping on zillow okay don't act like you don't hopping on zillow late night like oh that house for two million that's disgusting that could be really dope it's not right now but it could be Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of deer. Dude, that backyard looked majestic. This area is dope. See the majestic deer? Oh, slam it on the brakes. Hopefully I don't spook them. But look, the backyard just like goes down like some sort of like storybook magical backyard with like a gazebo type thing. Sun rays coming through and deer back there just munching. Whoa, look at that, dude. That is so cool. What a cool carport. I really liked that house, but I... Whoa, wait, that one has like an archway entrance i feel like the carport that had that archway i would probably find a way to put a garage door there though and like look at that that is so dope you might not be able to see it because the sun is shining behind it but look at it it's like a weird square but it has a matching garage look at that that's dope oh my gosh my visor's too tinted and look at that they have like a little sitting area fire pit haha <laughs> jokes on you guys i lured you in with the hopes of finding trails but instead it turned into an episode of hgtv house hunters i breed monarch butterflies and my wife is actually a pickle groomer and our budget is three million is this a dead end or can i go through there what is that and what is that what is everything whoa there's whoa there's water back here my guy are you heckin freaking joking me right now bro like look at that dude that is so freaking pretty i gotta i gotta influence for a second shameless plug go follow me on instagram at life.of.birch this neighborhood really is freaking cool though what the hell is that little dog doing what the dog doing this looks like some sort of trail is it the sort of trail that I'm supposed to go on, or no? Only time will tell. Stick around for this episode of Will the Police Show Up? Look at that little stream, dude, like going through all their backyards. Bro, what the heck? I like it here. <laughs> oh, we just did a circle to where the ice cream truck was, as evident by the, uh, 
The bikes abandoned in the yard as they all went inside to the warmth to eat their ice cream. Michigan, Water Winter Wonderland. Has anybody actually ever called Michigan that? I have never heard it called the Water Winter Wonderland state before. Man, dude, all of this house shopping has me feeling hungry. You know what that means. Taco truck, baby, it has been too long. Check these things out. My freaking gosh, that was delicious as usual. Shout out Taqueria El Primo. You guys know if you've watched the channel for any amount of time, they're the go-to spot in Annapolis. I think all three of my meetups, we've come here for food. You really can't go wrong. And they were even out of Al Pastor this time, which, you know, I'd like to think is because of me. I'm always hyping up the Al Pastor, so I tried the steak instead, and even that was bomb. Oh yeah. All right, well the sun is quickly and swiftly going down at this point and I can feel the temperature dropping. So we're headed back home, but we're gonna do a quick sweep through downtown Annapolis to kind of finish things off, see if there's anything going on down there. But this has been so much fun, you know? Not super exciting, but that's how rides are sometimes. They don't have to be exciting to be fun. Wow, that was deep, huh? I miss just doing videos like this, you know? Let me know how you guys feel about just the old school moto vlogs, but uh, they never do as well views-wise or anything like that obviously like all the reviews and installs and stuff that I do those are the ones that end up with all of the views but the old school moto vlogs I feel like are just fun oh look at the sun hitting those trees they're the most fun to make the most fun to edit the most fun to post and the least fun to watch the stats on as a in tank every time not every time that's a lie but you know if i can do a bike review and i post it and it gets a hundred thousand plus views and then i come right off of those coattails to post a moto vlog that gets ten thousand views if that it's like oh my god i'm a failure why is this happening nobody likes my moto vlogs but i just gotta remind myself that they're the most fun to make and that's what counts oh my god look at the golden hour light hitting the water dude this is like my favorite time of day right before sunset and at sunset everything is just so freaking pretty what is this dude a gang of one wheel riders <laughs> what the heck they're cruising too they're boogieing exactly what i would expect one wheel riders to look like no offense but that is exactly what i expect one wheel riders to look like <sighs> you love to see it still hustling and bustling down here even when it's starting to get cold out you know i freaking love it down here oh they got the heaters cranking now i need one of those just strap it to the back of the bike that would be <laughs> that would be so crazy imagine it's like oh what smells weird oh my helmet's rotisserieing. that's right is that a word rotisserieing? rotising rotisizing ain't that up the bathroom is closed because it's being cleaned. I have to pee so bad. Ooh, wow, look at the cool boat. That's not the Harbor Queen that's usually there. That's bigger. Check that out. And everybody's dressed up all fancy. They got some sort of function on the boat. This is why I love downtown. How freaking cool, dude. Anywho, like I was saying, I got to pee so bad I can't even focus. So we going to get out of here. But we set out. We got, yeah, words. Yurt, yurt. We accomplished what we set out to do is the words that I'm trying to find. We had a great time doing an old school moto vlog. Yeah, I feel like I have to, right? We got tacos just like old times. We got rise up coffee just like old times. Look at them having their cute little date there. And now we're going to finish things off by riding down <laughs> some stairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out to the Patreon members for making all of this possible. I could not be doing it without you guys. For real, for real. I've said it before, but especially over winter as uh, I'm able to ride less, post less, views go down, money goes down, but bills stay the same. So, especially over winter, I could not be doing this without all of the Patreon members. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Check out patreon.com slash life of birch if you want to help out in that way as well. Otherwise, you can help out by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we're finished off with a convertible ferrari i will catch y'all on the next one love you guys peace oh so basic hope you play this damn my pretty nice song and yeah. i be canis oh so fake it pay those hey, placements hey, Fuck shit. hey and i'm still waiting on the brighter day it's been a minute been rough many times more and i'm kicking rocks to a sky of gray praying hard talk to me for i'm done for